Os, and welcome to more of my thoughts and ideas. Lately, I've been thinking a lot about what boxers and fighters call road work, aka jogging. That's simple. <laughs> But it's something that I believe every fighter should do, every martial artist should run and practice running in many different ways. Practice running. Long distance, practice short distance sprints, practice long distance running uphill, practice short burst sprints running uphill, practice long runs downhill, practice short quick sprints downhill. Many different ways we can engage ourselves in running, and we should switch up the environment from time to time. Just to keep ourselves well rounded and keep the muscles guessing. But also, I don't believe we should run always in the perfect circumstances. We should run sometimes in the heat of the day. We should also run with minimalist shoes. So, shoes that are not so high tech and have the best soul protection and all this stuff. No. Five finger Vibram shoes or Earth Runner sandals is enough. Now, also, I like to think about when people go running, they usually have nothing in their hands. They don't want to be carrying anything. So they run with their hands empty. But what if we switch that up as well? What if we switched it up to where we're carrying something? Does it have to be something very heavy? No. Especially if you're going long distance. Try this next time you go jogging. Find a broomstick and detach the broom sweeper part off of the stick and just use the stick itself. Or as you're walking, find a nice long stick, pick it up, and run with. Just this very lightweight stick in your hand. Notice the way that it changes things in a subtle way. It will change your gait, it will change your pace, and also you will be switching from hand to hand as you're running to change it up, not to be too much on one side. So, say you run with the stick in your right hand. For some time, you switch it and run for some time with the stick in your left hand. Also, what you can do is play different brain games, like lightly tossing the stick from the right hand to the left hand, back and forth, back and forth, as you're running. Another idea that you can do is grab a lightweight dumbbell. About one to three pounds is totally enough. Five pounds if you're feeling crazy. But Go on a jog with just one pound dumbbell in your right hand. And notice the way that that changes things up differently. Maybe you switch hands with it. Maybe you toss it side to side just like the stick. But notice the way it changes your pace. Notice the way it changes your gait. Now, here's another thing. Maybe don't only hold on to something that's a straight object like a stick or a dumbbell. Maybe we should try running with something that's round. And it doesn't have to be heavy again. Try running with a football in your hand. Try running with a basketball in your arm. Carrying the basketball, carrying the football. Not dribbling. Just carrying. Another thing that you might want to practice is running with a backpack on. Or running with pants on that are not like athletic pants, that are regular pants. Because I like to also think of running as a form of martial arts. You see, the very first thing that we should do in a self defense situation is look for a way to escape. 
So that means look for a way or an opportunity for you to run away. And will you be running in the high-tech Hoka shoes? No. Will you be running? Will you happen to be in sweatpants unless you're me and you wear sweatpants every day? No. Most likely, in a self-defense situation, you will have to run away in normal clothes. How often do you run in normal clothes, in jeans, right? So change up even your apparel when you run. As a test of even your endurance. So those are my thoughts. Running with objects. And notice the way it makes you ch- change. And notice the level of creativity that you can bring to your running. And the excitement that it can bring to your running. While I was in Miami, I was in Coconut Grove. I saw a man running and juggling different kind of balls as he was running. He had a soccer ball, a football, and a tennis ball. Something like this. And he was literally juggling as he was running you see it's things like this that i'm interested in it makes the mundane turn into art live through art my friends us